All right, I've got an example here of cylindrical coordinates. Given point P is minus 2, 6, 3, and vector A, which is Y, AX, plus X plus Z, AY, express P and A in cylindrical coordinates. Evaluate the vector at point P in Cartesian and cylindrical systems. All right, well, let's start by remembering or recalling that rho was the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, so that's a good start. So I can just, I look, I see x is minus 2 and y is 6, right? So I just I take the square root of minus 2 squared plus 6 squared, and uh, that gives me, what, the square root of 40 or uh, 2 root 10. We'll call it 2 root 10, I guess. And then let's say uh, that the angle phi is the inverse tangent of y over x, right? Let's recall that. And so that would be the inverse tangent of 6 over minus 2. And that we plug that into our calculator, and we get 108 degrees there. Be careful with the tangent, too, when you're plugging in your calculator, because um, the, the, the tangent can be negative in, in two different uh, spots, quadrants um, 2 and, and 4. So just be careful with, you know, there are actually two answers to the inverse tangent. Be careful with that. You want to make sure you get the right answer there. And so now, meaning you want the right answer, meaning you want, you want a positive, so this is y, so positive y and a negative x. So you want quadrant 2 there, not quadrant 4. All right, so, and remember z is equal to z, so that's 3. So our point then becomes, we'll just say that the point in Cartesian coordinates of minus 2, 6, 3 is equal to, 2 root 10 up to 3 significant digits is 6.32 and then 108 degrees is uh, 3 significant digits and then 3, 3 exactly or 3.00 I guess. Okay so that is again vector P, or not vector P, point P in uh, cylindrical coordinates. Now let's convert vector A to cylindrical coordinates. And so we're just going to recall or look up our notes or look at the, uh, the textbook or whatever we do. This is something good that you would have on a sheet of notes if you're allowed a sheet of notes. But the transformation matrix, okay, is given by this guy, cosine of phi, sine phi zero, negative sine phi cosine phi, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, and we multiply that by the, the x component, y component, z component. So what is the x component in our vector field? So that's y, right? And what is the y component? That's x plus z. And there is no z component, 0. All right, so I carry that out. I carry that multiplication out and I get a row is equal to, so I, I do this, so this is y cosine phi plus x plus z sine phi, right? And I get a phi is negative y sine phi plus x plus z cosine phi plus zero. And then a z is just zero again, right? There's zero in the z direction in Cartesian, and there's zero in the z direction um, in cylindrical. Then we recall that x is rho cosine phi and y is rho sine phi. Okay, so 
so we plug those guys in here and we get our vector field A is rho sine phi cosine phi right, plus and then x plus z is uh, rho cosine phi uh, and then the zero the the z is uh, it's just it remains z right z sine phi like that so that's the x or that's not the x component excuse me that's the uh, the rho component a rho plus okay and so we've got uh, y minus y so y is rho sine phi so this is minus rho sine squared phi plus and then x is rho cosine right rho cosine phi plus z cosine phi like that so we'd have a cosine phi squared there and this is in the phi direction okay and then finally we have z uh, the the z direction is zero okay so that's what we have and uh, so this is our answer so we've converted our vector field you know a uh, it's into uh, the cylindrical coordinates so there we go right there are no X's or Y's left in our calculation so now the last part of this is to evaluate a this vector field at point P in Cartesian and cylindrical okay so let's do Cartesian first so let's we'll do Cartesian that's it's simpler in this case okay so in Cartesian remember here's my point minus two six three in Cartesian and the vector field it's given in the problem as well so a at point P is okay y a x so y is six so this is six a x plus and then we have minus two is the x plus three is the z times a y so this just turns out to be six a x plus a y right that's it that's that's the Cartesian uh, solution right if you want to call it that now let's do it in cylindrical okay so what we need to do is that we need to evaluate this thing in the box right so we have a row and we know what row is row is 2 root 10 right and we know what phi is phi is 108 but 108 degrees was rounded to, th to three significant digits we're gonna try to keep this exact so we need the, the sine of phi the cosine of phi and we know what z is z is 3 Okay, but we need the sine and the cosine of phi. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick, and um, you know, I'm going to draw a triangle, and uh, eventually you don't even need to draw the triangle if you get used to this trick. But the, the x component is minus 2, so I'm going to draw the triangle going to the left like that, and then the, um, the y component is 6, so that goes up. So to the left and then up, and I'm going to call this phi, although it doesn't really matter um, which angle you call phi, but here's the here's the right uh, the right angle. So the the x component was minus two and the y component was six. In other words, um, phi here. Remember we said that phi is the inverse tangent of y over x. The tangent of phi is six over minus two, right? So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if this angle is phi, opposite is six, right? over adjacent is minus 2. So what is that third side then? Where's the hypotenuse there? Well the hypotenuse is rho, that, that's 2 root 10. So you can use the Pythagorean theorem, right, but that's the square root of 40 or 2 root 10. So now we have our right triangle, so so what is the sine of theta? Or phi, excuse me, the sine of phi, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so the sine of phi is 6 over 2 root 10. 
right? Which is three root 10, three over root 10. And what's the cosine of phi? The cosine of phi is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be minus two over two root 10 or negative, negative one over root 10, right? Okay, so now we have everything that we need to plug into the box equation. Again, rho is 2 root 10. Now we know sine of phi. We know it exactly. Sine of phi is 3 over root 10. Cosine of phi exactly is 1 over, negative 1 over root 10. And so we can plug into this equation. And when you do that, you get A is equal to negative 0 0.949 in the rho direction minus 6.01 in the phi direction. Okay, and that is our answer. Now, I want to be clear here, we've answered everything in the problem. I'm going to I'm going to erase some things here. We've we've answered everything and we could stop right now. But what I want to do is uh interpret our answer, make sure that they're correct. All right? Because we have two representations of this thing, right? We've got, we've got, we've got the in Cartesian we have the the vector is six ax plus ay, and in cylindrical we have uh, this thing here. Well, which one is right? Well, they're actually telling you the exact same thing, and that's what I want you to, to understand. They're telling you the exact same thing. So let's let's take a look. Let's uh, let's make a little plot. And actually, it's it's easy to plot this guy on the whiteboard because nothing here depends on z. Uh, there's no z component to any of these vector fields. So I'm going to just plot x, y, right? And um, we'll, we'll, we'll make each notch 2. Okay, so this is 2, 4, 6, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, 2, 4, 6, right? And so at vector, p, or at point p, we're at minus 2, Six, okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna forget about the z for right now. So if we were standing at the top of the z axis, like it's a flagpole or something, and looking down, this is where we would see our point, or that's where we would see our shadow, all right. And so what we've got here is this. This location. So this has an angle phi, right? That's angle phi right there. And this has a radius rho. That's rho. Okay. And so that's the point we're at. And so the vector says go over 6 in the x direction and up 1. So I'm going to draw that in blue. So over 6 in the x direction. Well, we're at minus 2, so that would take us to 4. Okay. So that's the that's ax. That's six ax, right? Six ax. Okay. And then uh, the other component in Cartesian is one ay. So that means go up one in the y direction. So that's like this. So that's one ay. And so in um, in Cartesian, I'm gonna draw this with red. Here's our vector. Right. Remember how you add vectors, the parallelogram or tip to tail? So this is vector A. Okay, now in green, I'm going to do cylindrical. So cylindrical says go down negative 0.949 A rho. So rho is, is this direction, the radial direction. So that might be, you know, 0.9 is not a lot in my figure here, so that might be like this, right? And then um, then it says go uh, against phi minus 6.01. So that's against phi, right? That's this way, tangential. Tangential to the arc. Right? That's this way. Because phi goes counterclockwise, so against phi would go to the right and up tangent to the arc. Okay, so when I add those together, notice when I add those together, the, the ones in green, I still get the vector re in red. I still get the same vector, right? So 
and I should because the Cartesian and the cylindrical they're they're showing the same vector. I mean, this is this is the same um, same vector a, right? It's just two different representations of it.